We Ooh. are here. Let's go. <laughs> we got Dayon Henley in the house talking about Charger football. We are excited. Money Not Football, Chargers Jets, Whoa. and uh, we are excited. Look, looking forward to it, man. Glad to yeah. have you here, Dayon. I appreciate you guys having me, man. I, I'm, I'm glad to, you know, actually be a part of the Boat Bros, man. Let's go. It. Let's go. We are a camp. part of the Boat Bros. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, we met you at training camp, so we got an intro video. We're going to kick this off real quick, and then we'll get some of the questions. All righty? Let's do it. All right, let's go. I'm Dayon Henley. You watching the Boat Bros podcast? Let's, let's do it. Go. Yeah. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> love oh, it. Dan, so, you're the best. Yeah, um, you're, you're amazing. Well, so let's get into some of our questions. I know these are some questions that, that uh, we've come up with with some of the uh, followers of our channel. Um, so you come from a family who loves football. Mm. I Definitely. know. It's, it's big, right? Yeah. Who or what was the reason behind your passion for football? Is it just your family or just uh, kind of all of the above? I would definitely say specifically my older brothers. Uh, really? Being able to watch them play for, you know, a little bit. They never yeah. made it, like, you know, that far. But, like, just watching someone in the family very close play football uh, was really what led me into the game. That's amazing. So one little quick follow-up question before I pass to my other brother. Um, you've been in all different positions, quarterback, mm. wide receiver, tight end. Now you're a linebacker in the NFL. How did that happen? Like, how did that transpire? Trust me, I think about it every day. <laughs> I, I, I look at myself, I'd be like, I could I could have still been a little Debo Samuel, you know, like, yeah. give me the ball and let me work. But when I look at my journey and where yeah. I came from, from quarterback literally all the way to linebacker through yeah. seven positions, it's exactly where I'm supposed to be. I think my body, my genetics kind of were, was built to be linebacker. And I, I always think about that, too, like, would I have ever reached my maximum potential at a different position? You know, so yeah, it's just it's amazing to be a linebacker. It feels good, man. That's amazing. Man, a lot of fans out there, us Chargers fans, when we drafted you, we were all so excited that you were jumping on this team. Just a really yeah. good element. And honestly, you're a real good dude all around. So we're hyped to have you on this team, my man. Man, you're all some good dudes, man. How about that? How about yeah, that? Oh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> so my question is, you guys got a really good linebacker room right now, having vets yeah. like Eric Hendricks, and you could really put in Kenneth Murray right now, or even to say, you know, Nick Neiman being another guy that's been in the room for a real yeah. long time. And you guys have really seemed to find a way to, to be able to fix the run defense. You know, just specifically for you, what have you learned so far from the linebacker rooms jumping into the NFL and such too, and having great leaders like that? So for me being drafted to this team, uh, one of the, like the first conversations uh, with, between me and the coaching staff was like, you know, you're coming into a room with the guys that are established. That's, yep. that's like, they've, they've been here, been in the system and we want you to learn under them so we mm -hmm. can build you for a long season, build you for, you know, what comes next, whatever that may be. And with that being said, the vets have taken me in under their wings. It's like, you know, they say find your vet. That's like the thing you teach the rookie. Find a vet, find a vet, find a vet. But it's been so easy because the vets have came to me. K9, EK, Nick Neiman, Amen, all of these guys have like, you know, came to me and they brought me along for the many different things that they, you know, could teach me. Uh, just like the number one thing is how you study, how you yeah. prepare for the game. Mm -hmm. uh, is how you will play. You know, it's, 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 it's more so mental than it is physical because we're all here because of our physical gifts. So it's what comes between the ears that can get you on that field. And, and that's really what I've, like, I've been trying to take a hold of that lesson, the main one, and take it there. Love it, man. Love hearing that. Love hearing that the players are coming out, reaching out to you and coming to you, Kyle. Yeah. So, Kyle, next. Yeah, that, that's freaking awesome, man. That uh, that they come to you and like, and they kind of want to mentor you as well a little bit, you know. Yeah. So, and that actually kind of gives leads us into another question here about uh, which players did you study when you're growing up and and watching football besides your brothers, I guess, too, you know. So at the linebacker position, since I'm like fairly new, mm -hmm. like the guys that 
I was able to look at before I like really dove into the position, like just watching football. Fred Warner, um, oh yeah, Eric yeah. Kendricks. So like that's amazing, you know, just because Eric Kendricks is he's been a prominent linebacker since college, right. like you know, yeah. So like he 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 didn't just jump on the scene. He's been a guy since college, Buck is winner and all that stuff. So he's also been a part of that. Um, Shaq, Shaq Leonard, like he's also a guy because of the journey, you know, the journey he went through to become a linebacker in the league. So, like, I look at these guys not only because of what they do on the field, but none of them had it easy. Yeah. And just to just to see that, it, it, you know, I try to, you know, try to build and, and, and connect pieces to my journey, like, because I didn't have it easy to get to where I'm at, especially, you know, being a linebacker, facing, you know, all these other positions, having to throw that away and learn a different, you know, thing. So those are some guys. That's awesome. Yeah. That's that's so yeah, that's super awesome that you 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 studied a, a guy like Eric Kendricks, and then you get to play with him directly. That's Unreal. awesome. That's Unreal. literally clutch. Yeah, so I, I got an interesting question. Uh, I know this. I know this, we we watched the Hot Ones episode with you and QJ. And, uh, <laughs> okay, so so, I, but but here's the thing. I, we'll put you on the spot real quick. Oh my god. Who, who is your favorite teammate? How about that? My favorite teammate. Yeah. And why? Ooh, and tough. why? It's tough. It's tough. It's tough because <laughs> so many good guys. I will say my favorite teammate just might have to be. Wow. I can't say everybody, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and we don't got we don't got a chicken wing for you to try out if you yeah, want to. There you go. Oh, oh, I, oh, come on! I would, now. I would love a chicken wing right now. Oh, uh, <laughs> not from the hot ones episode though. Those are way out. No doubt. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Fox is a good guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a good guy. It's supposed to say Amen is also one of my like, one of my like very close Asante and yeah. and Mark Webb. Those are like some guys that like I really like. You know, mm-hmm. really cool dudes. Yeah, yeah, you've bonded the closest with them so far. I was, I'm like I said, I'm bonded with everybody, but like yeah. when it comes to like just random conversations, like those are the dude. Well, Asante is right next to me in the locker room. Asante yeah. is cool. right yeah, next yeah. to me, so obviously there is bond because I talk to my boy like all the time. Yeah. Uh, Dean Marlowe is, is on the right side of me, so like those are the guys I really like talk to all the time. But I talk to everybody, so like, I, yeah. man, if yeah. I if the list is long because like you know, <laughs> like guys in the locker room, you know, you know, like. You guys are just chilling and having a good time. That's us in the locker room every day. No so so to, to single out like one person, tough, is very hard. Is very yeah, hard. I can imagine. I mean that that's that's really good to see though. You know, I mean it's it's a whole team situation. You know, so yeah, yeah. you guys are yeah. So that's awesome. Absolutely. You know, quick quick question. I'm going to throw out to you, Dayon. You made a great play on special teams hit in the Gunner last week versus the Bears. Mm-hmm. I mean, you lit them up. You lit them mm-hmm. up. How good did that feel, man? How do you, how bro, good did that feel? Bro, I thrive. I live on contact, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so when I'm looking at the guy and he's coming at me, I'm like, bro, like you probably should like do something else. Like, don't just run at me. Like, because I'm if you're running at me 20 miles per like an hour, I'm just gonna say to myself, like, I don't want to get ran over. Okay. Uh I probably have a hard time grabbing you. So just get rid of the problem, you know? No doubt. That's right. Car no doubt. Car. <laughs> just get, just eliminate the issue. Like, just forget all the math I just calculated. How about we just get rid of it, you know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> <laughs> to be able to smack that guy, uh, respect to him. He's he's a hell of a guy. He was fast, and I needed You're- to get do something to stop him. Right. Yeah, you yeah. you decleated him, man. So, decleated him. Uh, yeah, he was yard gone. sale. And him we're and looking me. forward to seeing we a lot more of those ground. hits, too, man. <laughs> Come on, man. We was all on the ground. Yeah, so I had to like take that all all the time. Like I'm sitting, like man, I can't wait to get some plays in and make yeah. some hits. I had to, he had to get all of that, and then eventually I did get in and then get to make some tackles. But he had to get it first. <laughs> nice. Uh, I love it. Follow up on that one. Did you think in your head or at the during the time? It's morphin' time, bro. <laughs> hey man, I was already morphing. Yeah, I was already, I was already in the zone, bro. You got to right. morph before you get on that field. Somebody That's right. expose you, man. This may, I love that. It's morphin' time. Let's go. Yeah. Morphin time. I, let me get my hashtags going right now. I need to get that going. Yeah. 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 
Very cool. I love it. Um, you know, speaking of this, because okay, so I want to, we, we only have a, a time for a few more questions here, but uh, um, I wanted to ask you, what was the inspiration behind this photo shoot here? Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Cold. <laughs> cold. Deep cut. Deep cut. Yeah. Cold. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so we, I love do, this do photo you shoot. See do, yep. do you see that's that's way back. See, the ranger yep. was wasn't even the ranger yet. Yeah. But the caption, but not really the inspiration. So like it was a uniform like type of reveal type of shoot. Mm -hmm. And my coach never let us wear all white. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, so I was like, coach, like, can we wear all white? He's like, well, think about it. So the dudes are like, when we do this uniform reveal, we'll just throw in an all white uni and see mm -hmm. if he goes for it. And uh, sure enough, he did not go for it. Oh, <laughs> he did not go for it. Dang. Did, did not go for it. But the photos were sick. We yep. got to a little cold location. Hands were freezing. Yeah, right there. Hands were freezing, man. <laughs> it was wet out there. I did like the whole the elf scene jumping into the snow. Yeah. Not as fun as it looks. <laughs> so, nice. It was, it was a cool shoot. I think the photos came out pretty cool. Yeah, they did. Oh, yeah, you sure. look great. You look sharp. You look I'm sharp. my boy Josh and Phil Mandy, man. Yeah. Those are legends. <laughs> Hey, so uh, I, I do have a follow-up question. Um, so what's been the biggest change from college football coming to the NFL? Man, the biggest change is, is the dark truth, the dark secret that really – not even the secret, but the, the things yeah. that people don't see is, like, the business, man. Yeah, It's a sure. business, bro. Like, yep. you get close to people that may not be here tomorrow. You see people who work their ass off who may not be here next week. So it's like that is the hardest thing to get used to because that person may not be here tomorrow, but then he may get brought back yep. and then maybe going again. Mm -hmm. Like all within the same season, within the same month. You're never going to get used to it. That's like real yeah. culture shock. It puts you on the edge. It makes you have to go harder. And mm -hmm. like yeah. people That's don't see that. Answer. People just, you know, you know, they just – from a you know fan's point of view, you're just looking at the team that you love, and yep. you, I respect that because that's where I was. You know, like right. at one point, I was just a fan of the game, fan of sports in general. I'm a fan of the Lakers. I don't know what's going on behind them doors, yeah. But yep. I know it's like real stuff for them guys to be on that court or even to be on that that, that sideline every game. That's a testament to whatever they're doing behind closed doors. No yeah. doubt, absolutely. It's a real answer, man. Uh, I love hearing that answer, man. That's that's a that's a real good answer. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I got a quick question here. Um, so Brandon Staley with his beard this year has been two and four as a record. <laughs> Clean shaven Staley, it? one and oh. I Have see you what I see what you're thinking. <laughs> because I thought it too. <laughs> now, now I'm looking around because I haven't brought this up to anybody in this building. But since you brought it up, man, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so, so cleaned so, it up, man. <laughs> hey, we're winning. Hey, let's go. Let's, yeah. Have you told him yet? Have you told him yet? Hey, man, keep nah, that beard clean shaven on game day. Hey, we don't, we don't want to mess with the mojo jojo, but uh, <laughs> the, truth, the truth of it is, man, uh, beard or no beard, you know, it's, it's about getting the job done. And, and we got 100%. us, the players, have to put the work in to, to get the job done. So every day we're out there on that practice field, we're putting in work to, to get the results we want. And – Man, without the beer so far, we've been doing it. And <laughs> but even with the beer, we did it. So it's, 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 it's like I said, man. We uh got to put the work in. Uh, no beard or no beard. <laughs> hey, I, I I'm glad you actually knew where I was going with that question. Man, it, it, it shot in my mind. First meeting, we're, I saw we're, like we're we're together, yep. bro. I'm so, I'm on on like the just the run of it. First meeting, he comes in with the beard shaved. Comes after we took the loss. And I'm thinking to myself, this might be what we need. But the truth of the matter is, is that we got to put the work in and to get the results we want. And that's what we're, we're, we're trying to do every day, man. No doubt, man. No doubt. So last question. I don't know if we got enough time here because I think you got to go into your meetings, too. So yeah, who yeah. got the last question here? No, give it to Andrew. I, I was going to say, uh, favorite Nipsey Hussle song? Uh, would definitely say Bullets Ain't Got No Name and Hustle and Motivated. Let's go. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go. And I know we had a couple fans asking about that, so we, yep. we had to throw it out there, my man. Come on. So, Come on. One, 
One quick last question. Expectations for the Jets game coming up for Monday Night Football. What is yep. the goal for you? Uh, to make some impact plays on special teams, for sure. And if my number is called, be ready. Let's go. Let's right. go. So, man. Dan, yeah, I just have to say, man, like, it is awesome seeing you out there. You got, you got great speed, sideline to sideline. Hey, we're excited to see you, man. Seriously. No doubt, man. Thank you guys for having me. All Absolutely. Right. Appreciate Thank you, Dan Hanley. Appreciate it, my man. Have a great game. See you guys. Thank you.